Today is April 30th. Here's a short update on some of my vegetables that are in pots here. This is basically the shady side of, um, of our yard. These three plants here are brandy wine tomatoes. They're doing quite well. Two of the three. One of them is kind of stunted. Here I have, let me see here, Serrano chili peppers. One of them, the short one, and you can see the damage on the other one too. They were, uh, had their leaves eaten by some kind of bird, I think, or bug. Snail even, maybe. Here I have two more. You can see one is really tiny. This is also jalapeno. They both were the same size, but one is barely coming back from having been eaten up by some bug or bird. Here's three more brandy wine tomato plants doing quite well, and I believe that's garlic growing next to it. Here we have onions. They're supposed to be bulb onions growing with a little banana plant in the middle. Now, I really thought the banana was going to do good here uh, in this area, in this big pot, but it was bigger in February than it is now. So if it doesn't do well here, I'm going to take it out and just grow vegetables. As uh, This is called double mahoy. I already have double mahoy growing down the on the other part of the property. So if I remove him, it's no big deal. Here we have a small pineapple, another pineapple, and uh, onion. This is another pineapple and an onion growing. Another pineapple and onion growing. And here we have another pineapple. And this is uh, garlic chives and some parsley. Doing quite well. The pineapples, I'm not sure. I think they need more heat. And first we had five days of warm weather. Now we've had three days of cloudy weather. So I'm not sure if that's conducive for pineapples to grow quickly. I think not. These ugly things. This could be eating the pepper plants too. Hmm. I don't know what that is. This is dragon fruit. Pitaya, pitahaya. I'm not sure how you want to say it. Of course, uh, these are Valencia oranges that are growing here. Uh, it's kind of shady here, but I don't know where else to put these pitaya plants. I, I'm starting to build a structure to support them. Here we have some garlic, I think. Some more garlic. Hmm. <laughs> Here we have more pitaya. Need to trim. It's got too many fingers coming out. This one has rust spots. And that one. These two are more in sun. These two are in kind of shade. Unfortunately, the fence gives a lot of shade. My neighbor's garage and he has a lot of tall trees. Here we have cilantro growing in between onion. And we've been picking cilantro for a while now. But some of the cilantro is going to seed. So I'm just going to let it go to seed. Continue chopping off the leaves at the bottom ones. While I let the... The stalks go to seed. As I said, that's onion. Here we have younger onion. And I had a bunch of cilantro coming out. About a week ago, there was about uh, 50 little cilantro plants. They're all gone. So something is eating them. And I don't know. I need to come out here maybe super early or in the evening. You can see the rust spots. I'm going to have to spray some copper fungicide on uh, these uh, pitaya plants so that uh, this rust will be contained. Some people have actually scraped it off and sometimes it remains gone and sometimes it uh, comes off but sometimes it doesn't. I think this is a cool weather. We had this late winter, early spring. We had a lot of rain. And as you can see, my Valencia orange is doing quite well. Some of the fruit from last season are falling off and they're kind of like half rotten. But this year I plan to uh, pick as many as we can eat here. There's six of us in uh, this property that uh, we live on. I think four of the six like oranges. 
Now my family in Lake Elsinore, my grandkids, they love oranges, but right now because of the quarantine, I have not gone over there. I don't want them to be infected if I have it, and because I'm older, I hope that uh, they don't infect me also because I'm an old man. Here I'm gonna show you this loquat tree which is has a lot of fruit that's ripening. Another bunch of fruit I wanna give away, but uh, there's only three of us of the six that live here who like it. Myself, my grandson Enzo, and my wife kind of likes it. Other, other than that, no one else likes it only because they've never tasted it. People make up their minds way too soon. And they say, I don't like that. But when they taste it, they'll find out something different. 